Welcome. We're the co-design team for the virtual reality game Europa Prime. We're educational game designers and researchers from EDGE at Turk. And interns from Landmark College. Landmark is a post-secondary institute for people with learning differences, including ADHD, autism, and dyslexia. Our VR game is intended to engage a broad audience, including neurodivergent players, in STEM learning. We'd like to tell you about the co-design process. And what it has meant to the project and to us. At the beginning of this project, I had ideas about what aspects of the game I was going to involve in the co-design process. They were things that were about the design of the game in terms of options and settings. And what happened through the co-design process was an opening up. The perspective of the co-design team needs to be broader than that. How does that play out in the storyline and what a player is having to do in the game to be successful in playing? The player has to be polite to the minnows or they don't help. So that's something that's pretty normal, like part of social cues. It can be a little hard to understand with some executive functioning issues. We've explored themes in the game around communication and difference. Uh, that we initially hadn't thought about including. It, it felt validating of, of like, oh, things that I'm saying are and bringing to the table are being taken seriously. You have this great gift of having a different perspective other people don't have by being neurodivergent. We want to hear what you have. It's an other like a superhero, not an other like a... Uh, like uh, like an outcast. You know, the question we're trying to, to ask about virtual reality, does it offer some affordances for neurodiverse learners that other modes of learning might not? And the only way you can find that out is to engage those learners that you're targeting. Normally, uh, I would be very reserved and not very sociable when it comes to, uh, I guess, making small talk or just even just collaborating with schoolwork. Um, slowly but surely, um, I did start to uh, gradually uh, develop those skills and uh, I guess I develop uh, some sort of self-confidence. For me, one of the main takeaways from the co-design process is how much it changes everybody involved and how much it takes the product being designed into new and different and potentially scary, but also really exciting places.